I'm Josh Light with PaulTicket.com. I'm here with Mia Love, who's running for Congress in District 4. How are you doing today, Mia? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm doing good. Thanks, Mia. So, Mia, tell us a little bit about yourself. What issues you're pushing in this race? Well, I was born in New York, raised in Connecticut. I am the daughter of parents who immigrated to this country from Haiti. They came with very little money, $10. So they came to this country with and they pulled themselves up by their bootstraps, worked very hard for everything that they have. And on the first day of college, I took my dad with me because he's the fun parent. Uh, I said, and he looked at me very seriously and he said, Mia, your mother and I have done everything we could to get you here. You will not be a burden to society. You will give back. And that is just the, uh, the, just the, the principles I've taken with me everywhere I've gone. That's awesome, Mia. Now, this, this race has been getting a lot of national attention. Why do you think that's the case? Well, I think that there's several things that are happening. We've got, we've got some trouble in Washington. We've got about $16 trillion of debt, the deficit spending out of, the, out of control. And I think people are really looking for someone who is going to be able to bring everybody to the table and start working on solution that's actually going to produce results. Uh, the Congress has got a very low approval rating. And I think people are just tired of, of the fighting and really just getting somebody to get in and really make a difference. And, and, um, and I believe that I, I'm that candidate for Utah's 4th District. And Mia, you're running against uh, Matheson, Congressman Matheson, mm -hmm. and he's a tough candidate according to inside you know, political pundits. How are you going to beat him in this race? Well, he's, he's a nice guy, um, you know, and, and, and that's what I hear all around. But again, we, we, let, let's talk about the issues that we have. $16 trillion of debt, possible potential uh, fiscal Armageddon coming later late this year. We're looking at 23 million Americans underemployed, unemployed, or just have stopped looking. Out of one person that found a job last month, three people stopped looking. That's, to me, it just says that we're in, in big trouble. And these are the things we're going to concentrate on. We're going to concentrate on fiscal discipline, limited government personal responsibility. I'm not trying to remodel the kitchen when the house is on fire. We have to get our, our, our financial, we've got to get firm financial grounding. We've got to make sure that we provide some sort of opportunity for our children that are, that are growing up, that are going to inherit all of these issues. And we've got to be able to uh, make sure that we're doing our part to get to get us on firm financial standing. That's what I'm focused on. and. Um, and that's what I believe is going to resonate with the people of Utah's 4th District. And Mia, how, how is your campaign using social media right now? Well, you know, we're, we're actually pretty responsive on social media. We're out there just making comments here or there whenever there are issues that are coming up in Washington. People want to see how I, kind of, how I respond to those. And so we're using social media just to kind of let people know as information, let people know what's going on in Washington and to uh, respond to some of those or even ask questions. It's a great tool to get the 4th District telling me what they, what they believe. And so I can make sure I'm a true representative of the 4th District of Utah to Washington, not the other way around. So we noticed on Facebook, Mia, for instance, that you had more dialogue about your campaign than all the other congressional candidates combined, and also more dialogue about you than Orrin Hatch, who has 36 years in office. Why do you think people are talking about you so much? Well, I, again, everybody's going to deal with their campaigns the way that they need to deal with the campaigns to us, making sure that we're out there on social media, out there in front of people. We're using every outlet that we possibly can to let people know who I am, what, what we believe in here in the 4th District and the principles that we follow, which is fiscal discipline, limited government, personal responsibility. And Mia, you know, one thing we noticed at the convention was you had a lot of young people with you. A lot of people, you know, had those orange shirts on, walking yeah. around, talking about Mia Love. How is it that you get this young crowd out for you? Well, it's a big tent. The issues that are really that's facing our, our seniors today, it's important. Uh, the issues that are facing our, uh, our adults today are important. But really, we need to get the youth involved because they are the ones that are going to inherit all of this if we don't do something about it. And their voices need to be heard. And so we're making sure this is a big tent. Where the message that we have in, in this campaign resonates from post-retirement to working to high school students, all of these issues uh, are, are issues that are important to all of us. So Mia, is there anything you want to leave with the people in District 4? Well, I would say this. There are a lot of people that are going to pay attention to race issues or to gender issues. And obviously, here in the 4th District, those aren't our issues. I mean, we I was elected 60% of the votes in Saratoga Springs. It wasn't because of black and female. It's because of the policies that we put in place. Utah, it, they're, they're smart voters. They're really concerned about the economy. And that's what this race is going to be about. It's going to be about the fact that government is not going to heal our problems.
problems. We are. We're going to try and take control of Washington and make sure that Utah's 4th District is, is heard. Well, thank you for meeting with us today, Mia. Thank you. I appreciate it.